I want to prove to you that everyone's creative. If you've ever come up with a new idea yourself, you're creative. I don't care what it was, how small, how big, everyone is creative. This is what makes us human. In fact, you're probably more creative than you give yourself credit for just because maybe you're not in a fine art field. Maybe no one's ever told you that you're creative before, but trust me, you've come up with a solution somewhere. However small it is, you're creative. Give yourself a lot more credit. Welcome to another episode of Really Rich Principles. Today, we're going to talk about creativity. And uh, to celebrate, I'm wearing my cool bandana under my t-shirt to give you that little extra air of creativity in the video. But the funny thing about creativity is it's really not about being artsy. It's not about being a dancer or a musician. It's actually about solving problems in your own way. In fact, it's actually about solving sometimes problems that others perceive as impossible. This is a headline from 2022, so it's pretty new at the time of filming this video. Feds still looking for Alcatraz fugitives, three men in their 90s, if they're still alive. There were three men that escaped from the inescapable prison off the coast of San Francisco known as Alcatraz. This prison was built to ensure that nobody got out alive. And of course, three men not only got out alive, but they are still alive being searched for by the feds. This shows that even the most impossible, even the most ridiculous problems can be solved. Now, I'm not suggesting that you escape from prison. I'm not sure if they have YouTube in there anyway. If they do, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm suggesting that the problems that you're confronted with likely are a lot less challenging than these three men had to deal with when escaping from Alcatraz. I'll take it a step further. Who knows these two guys on the screen? The rich guy and the really rich guy. A lot of people think the difference between these two characters just comes down to, well, one's more uh, rude and then one's more polite. Or perhaps one cares more about other people and then the other one uh, is kind of a jerk and just wants to, you know, bumble through his day and uh, get his coffee and be on his way without any interruptions. Now, that's true... But what else is, the other thing that's true is that the really rich guy differs from the rich guy in that he is far more creative. The way that the really rich guy acts is he doesn't see what's in front of him and say, ah, oh, that's it. That's all I've got access to. He sees out into the future and realizes, hey, if I develop this relationship, we might be able to get this done together where both of us win. The rich guy sees what's here, uh, right here on the table. The really rich guy sees what is possible? And that is the big difference between the rich guy and the really rich guy. If you were to become more creative and employ more creativity in your life, you'd get a lot more awesome stuff. You'd have a lot better relationships. You'd make a lot more money. You'd have a lot less uh, stress. You'd be punching through these problems and these challenges like it's nothing, like it's a rice paper wall, okay? So not a brick wall like the guys at Alcatraz, uh, I'm assuming, had to deal with. So creativity is at play during my skits. This is how the really rich guy envisions something far better than what he currently has. This is what's been the, the driving force behind his success, if we want to you know, go back into the etymology of these characters. It's something that I've always realized, hey, the really rich guy thinks ahead. He sees what's not here. He envisions what's possible. And of course, that is creativity at play. So why did I make this video about creativity beyond, uh, you know, wanting to wear this bandana under my shirt and looking kind of like a French painter in this video? Well, creativity is the thing that is going to get you out of any struggle, whether it's uh, breaking out of Alcatraz, starting your business, maybe uh, fixing a challenge in your relationship, maybe making amends with a family member, whatever it is, when it comes to relationships, money, anything that you want to achieve, creativity is this deep survival mechanism in our DNA that makes us a lot different than the chimps uh, and chimp empire and you know the apes. This is what allows us to build skyscrapers a mile high and uh, live in cities of millions and not just little tribes of 30 or 40 uh, chimps as we've observed in the popular Netflix series, Chimp Empire. I am always reinventing myself and exploring new pathways and this is through creativity. So. 
when I find myself on a new tier, a new echelon, well, how do I rise above that? And how do I keep progressing? Creativity. This is how my life continuously gets better over time. This is how I know your life can continuously get better over time through creativity. So let's phrase it like this. Whenever you think you're in a corner, it's only because you haven't employed creativity. Of course, our, our good friends in Alcatraz are some out, somewhere out there in the wild, uh, probably breaking into your car as we speak, uh, because they use creativity to get out of there. So eh, maybe that's a bad example. But how about the invention of flight? The Wright brothers had to believe that flight was possible before they could jump into a popsicle stick, stick airplane and, and take off. Or athletic records saying, oh, well, you can never do this fast in the mile. And then, of course, when someone beats it, everyone is able to then go and beat that record. It's just this magic of once you believe and start to see the vision in your mind playing out, well, then you can go and do it. This is creativity in practice. Also, you'll never find yourself without hope. When you have creativity, you know you've got some magic in your corner. So you're never going to sit there and say, ah, I can't get out of this crappy job. I can't get out of this crappy relationship. Well, time to turn on the creativity. Financial opportunities explode. We're going to get to that in the video. And your life becomes exciting. So I like to break episodes down section by section so that you know what to expect. Also, I hope you watch until the end. We're going to have a lot of value driven right at the end. But if you want to skip around, here is the outline of the episode. So section one, we're going to define what creativity really is. Uh, I'm going to explain why it's not about being artsy. I'm going to show you that everyone is creative. I'm also going to explain why your creativity is being hijacked. It's being stolen from you with popular social media apps. Unfortunately, uh, it's just the name of the game. You have to protect your creativity in 2023. Section two, we're going to get in how to wield creativity, how to use it in practice. This is going to involve asking questions, playing games, and testing it out. Section three, I'm going to show you how to get more creative. So physical tricks exposure to new viewpoints. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to replenish your creative reserves. This is something that has taken me years to figure out. Uh, so how to help you get back in gear, perhaps after a lot of work, perhaps after a lot of stressful uh, situations have unfolding, maybe this challenge has just become too great. How do you get back your creative juices and get back in the game? Of course, this episode is brought to you by the Entrepreneur's Field Guide book, and guided digital course, tons and tons of value in there. You guys got to check it out. Go to nicholascrown.com. No risk to your purchase. 30 days. If you don't like it, you just let me know. I'll give you your money back. So check it out. Nicholascrown.com. All right, back to the show. Section one, what is creativity? I can assure you it doesn't mean painting, although it could. It doesn't mean music, although it could. This is just what society has slapped on as being the most creative endeavors. Of course, it's not. My definition of creativity is a solution that is unique to you, meaning you are the best one to solve it. So more creative means really more specific to you. So the more creative you are, the more specific the solution is to you. It's why Picasso can only paint like Picasso. Warhol only creates art the way that Warhol created in that factory environment that no one had done before. Creativity is in physics. It's in math. It's an engineering. It's not just the fine art. So anyone coming up with unique, with really great solutions is being creative. Okay. It's not limited to just the painters and the sculptors out there. Oftentimes creativity is a new solution that someone else hasn't thought about before. A great example is Jackson Pollock throwing splashing paint all over a canvas, right? You could say, well, I could do that. Well, you could do that, but you weren't the first one to do it. And that's why Jackson Pollock is the most creative in that style of painting. Oftentimes, a creative solution is also a simpler solution to an older problem. In math, this is called an elegant solution. Creativity brings a lot of simplicity to the game as well. I want to prove to you that everyone's creative. If you've ever come up with a new idea yourself, you're creative. I don't care what it was, how small, how big, everyone is creative. This is what makes us human. In fact, you're probably more creative than you give yourself credit for just because maybe you're not in a fine art uh, field. Maybe no one's ever told you that you're creative before, but trust me, you've come up with a solution somewhere. However small it is, you're creative. Give yourself a lot more credit. Creativity is why you still have a job uh, wherever it is. And creativity is how you'll get a promotion. Creativity is how you'll get out of a bad job and into a better job. Creativity is how you're going to get into the career of your dreams or build the business of your dreams. It's thinking outside of the box. 
It's thinking in a new way that is unique to you. Now, unfortunately, it's not all good news with creativity. It's definitely being hijacked by social media, by the incredible amount of entertainment at your fingertips. The reason for this is for creativity to really blossom, you need quiet. You don't need all this signal coming in and bombarding your brain. You need a little bit of breathing room, a little bit of space. And in my opinion, you need to be a little bored or a little challenged. So the moment that you run into a struggle and you flip open social media, you turn on the TV, you're avoiding being creative. If you were to stop yourself in your tracks, put down the phone, put down social media and face the problem head on, your creativity would have an opportunity to serve you. Social media is just pulling at your attention with the you know various notifications. Your dopamine levels are being played with over and over and over again, giving you rewards for not actually thinking through a challenge and solving it. This is how your creativity is being pulled from you. So please stand guard, protect your creativity, constant entertainment, constant engagement with social media, with media, with the news, with whatever will put your creativity on hold. Section two, how do we use creativity in practice? What does this actually mean? There's no secret weapon stronger than creativity. Okay, so you might have heard creativity as resourcefulness meaning thinking of new solutions and working with what you have. Well, that's what creativity is. So the most resourceful friend of yours, I'm assuming might be the most successful one. You know, the most resourceful entrepreneur is the one that's going to win and, and going to beat the competition. So creativity comes into play when there's something lacking in your reality. Pay attention. When you're confronted with a difficult challenge or a problem to solve and you feel that friction, creativity is about to engage. Let it happen. When you feel like you have a lack of resources, I don't have enough money, I don't have the relationship I want, whatever it is, creativity is about to engage. Pay attention. When you're about to make a necessary life change, I want to upgrade to a new house or maybe I have to downgrade because there's something wrong at my job. Creativity is about to engage and help you get out of that challenge. So if you are vigilant during these moments, especially during these stressful and challenging moments, you'll realize that there's something at your fingertips. This is when creativity engages. The moment of challenge is when creativity engages. So you're approaching the challenge and you're saying, okay, Nick, what do I do next? How do I unsheath uh, the weapon, the secret weapon of creativity? First of all, I've got a multi-step plan here that I want to share with you. But the most important step is you need to find some quiet. So you need to face the problem head on and approach it with bravery. And the first thing I like to do is put my phone down and find a quiet space to just think. Then I like to slow down. So oftentimes in a challenge, our mind is racing a mile a minute. Let's take some deep breaths and slow down. Now you've primed yourself to be creative. I like to walk around the problem and ask a lot of questions. Let's pretend you're looking to move into a nicer apartment and your rent is going to be another 500 bucks a month. I'd like to think, okay, well, what are some of the ways that I could make that extra 500 bucks now? Or perhaps how could I make an extra 50 bucks a day? to ultimately over 10 days, get that additional 500 bucks. Maybe I could ask for some extra hours at work. Maybe I could create a product or sell some personal services. Maybe I could go side hustle. Maybe I could go join a little gig economy for a couple weeks to make up the extra money and see if it's, and see if it's something that's sustainable for me. Walking around the problem and solving. Walking around the problem and asking a lot of questions. For me, I think about what are some new products and services that I can offer, that I can test. And then I start to make a list of what those products and services are. Next, you wanna remove the time limit. So it's much, much better for creativity to blossom if you don't have to solve the problem right now or if you don't have to solve it tomorrow. In fact, even if you do have to solve it tomorrow, let's play a little game with yourself and you say, I don't have to solve this anytime soon. I've got all the time in the world to think through it. This lack of stress will just open up your creative juices. Ask braver and bigger questions. So not, hey, let me make 500 bucks a month how can I make another 2000 bucks a month? Let's overshoot it. Let's ask even bigger questions because you ask bigger questions, bigger solutions will present themselves. Once you start to see some solutions coming in, you say, okay, well, I could make up that 500 bucks by asking my boss for a few more hours. I could do a little bit of extra work around the office. I could also do a little gig here. I can help a friend out with something. I could start to build the beginning pieces of my side hustle, whatever it is. I could start to sell my personal services, consulting services, for a very low price, make a list of these solutions and actually start to think through them in terms of how viable they are and which one you really prefer to do. Now you wanna prioritize this list 
and you want to pick one and execute one immediately. So if you've decided that, hey, I'm going to ask my boss for some extra hours, this will allow me to make that 500 bucks a month that I want to move into a nicer place, go and ask your boss tomorrow. Don't push it off. Don't wait. Start to work through these solutions because guess what? One of these solutions will work. Now, the real trick here is when you combine creativity with iteration. Iteration is working through a lot of different solutions peacefully, calmly, until one works. Making sure you're not redoing the same solution twice. When you're thinking creatively and you're using iteration, it's magic because ultimately you're going to get the answer eventually. So iteration is like creativity, very open-minded. You're willing to try new things and you're willing to actually go out and do those things. That's the difference. That's where iteration kicks in. Combining these two things is the reason for human ingenuity and innovation. It's the reason we have skyscrapers. It's the reason we ha why we have computers. It's the reason why you can watch me on your phone right now while you're on the train. Creativity and iteration is the answer and the recipe to every great invention and every great challenge solved in the world. If you don't believe me, just ask the chimps how many skyscrapers they've built. A quick moment from our sponsor, the Entrepreneur's Field Guide guided course. This is a five hour course, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday modules. This is going to take you on your own path so you can make your own rules to build the life of your dreams, the business of your dreams as quickly and as effectively as possible. Check it out at nicholascrown.com. Back to the episode. I'm sure you're wondering, how do I get more creative, Nick? I'm just not feeling that creative today. You know what? I'm not feeling that creative this whole month. How do I turn on that creative switch? How do I pump a little bit more creative juice through my veins? Well, I've got some tricks, uh, tips and tricks for you about how to enhance creativity. The number one trick, and this is the most important, is to maintain a playful demeanor. So what I call this is childlike curiosity. When you're in a state of play, oh, maybe I'll try this answer. Maybe I'll try that answer. Tomorrow, we're going to try one of them. No big deal. We're just going to pick one. But hey, I've got all these different answers to choose from. See that playfulness? It just takes all that pressure off. And you just realize, well, you know, this. we're going to figure it out eventually. A little bit of laughter helps. If you can laugh specifically, if your challenge is so great, you can't believe it, laugh at it. It's going to minimize that challenge. Remember, three guys broke out of Alcatraz. And they're still running around town and nobody's caught them. If that's possible, I really do believe that anything is possible. I also like to appreciate that I'm even in the position to be working through challenges like this. I like to say, you know what? I woke up today healthy. I feel pretty good. I'm happy that I can even approach these challenges. There's so many people in the world that don't even have the opportunity to work through these types of challenges with a clear head. I'm appreciative of that opportunity. Treat the challenge as a fun game. So if you are a game, you like chess, you like checkers, you like playing video games, treat the challenge as just another level in your video game. Treat the challenge as just another opponent in the park playing chess with you. Because we minimize this challenge, we look at it like a game, because it is a game, there is a way to solve it. You know that eventually you're going to win. Eventually you're going to beat the guy next to you in chess. Eventually you're going to get good enough to get the next level, get through the next level in the video game. All right, stress reduction. Stress reduction is super important because when stress goes down, creativity goes up. So taking a walk is something that I've always found is a great stress reliever. I think there's a physiological reason. Your amygdala starts to quiet down. Your sort of fight or flight quiets down and you get to open your mind a little bit. So get out there and take a walk. Even if it's uh, winter time, put on your boots, get out there, take a walk. It's unbelievable the ideas that I get just walking around my neighborhood. I talked about this before, but it's worth reiterating. Remove time limits. You've got to remove those time limits. And the joke here is you're going to remove the time limit and you're going to time limit and you're going to find a solution early anyway. You're always going to turn in your homework before it's due. That's just a phenomenon. I don't know how to explain it. Also, tackle these challenges when you have a free day. So I know your Saturday is important, your Sunday is important, but tackle it when you're not already overtasked this is where you're going to have a lot more creative reservoir. You're going to say, okay, well, we've got the whole day to figure this out. I know you want to go hang out in the park with your dog and throw the ball, whatever it is. Just give me a day, all right? Give me a day. Trust me, all right? I promise it's going to work out. Tackle this thing when you have free time. And if all that sounds good, we've got your bonuses, how to replenish your creative reserves. This is so important because we all run dry on creativity every now and then. 
I believe that there's a chemical storehouse of creativity. I think this has to do with dopamine, but I'm not really a, a scientist. I'm not really the person you want to ask about this, but I think it gets tapped out and that's usually when you need a break. So when you're just not generating new ideas, when you're not feeling so creative, when those those answers aren't rolling off your tongue, usually means you need a break or to switch tasks to something else, just to sort of reset, give your mind a blank slate. So the most amazing work happens when I feel like trying something, when I feel like trying a new solution, when there's no pressure, say, ah, I just feel like giving this a shot. I just feel like you know mocking up this product and seeing if the market wants it. This is when I create magic, not when I'm just slammed, you know, looking for a solution right then and there. So taking breaks, just like if you're working out and training, you need rest. Your creative juices need time to refill if you've just gone through a huge, huge breakthrough. Take a deep breath, take a day off, and then you'll find yourself ready to get back to work. All right, and my personal hack here is if you're constantly working in one space, you're working in one part of your house, one per part of your office, pick up your laptop, walk across the house, walk outside, you maybe got a little patio, walk out in the street, go to a coffee shop, and then tackle that challenge again from a completely different location. I don't know how this works, but it works. There's some magic in your brain that's just saying, I'm in a new place, I'll think of new solutions. And that's exactly what happens. So if you're really, really stuck, get moving. So to cover some key points, creativity is your superpower. You already have the answers to solve all of the challenges in your life. You don't need to consult with a friend. You don't need to ask your dad or your mom for the answer. You already have it. You just haven't given yourself the opportunity to think creatively. Perhaps every time you're feeling that challenge and that awkwardness, you flip on Netflix. You go into social media and you just entertain yourself. Well, do me a favor. Let yourself get bored. Let yourself get frustrated and just let that creativity start to fill in and provide some answers. Once you start to act creatively, once you start to embrace how creative you are and start to trust your own creativity and the, and the solutions that are coming straight from you, you're gonna move so much faster because you don't need advice. You know that, hey, I've got these three solutions. I'm gonna try one of them. If one of them doesn't work out, I'm gonna try the next solu solution. And then if that one doesn't work out, I'm gonna try the solution after that. So you know you have your own answers. You know you have your own game plan you're gonna move so much faster this way. And finally, you're gonna to learn to build trust with yourself. You're gonna use yourself as your own mentor. And trust me, there is nothing more awesome and more empowering than saying, I got this. If you found value in this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. More value to come here on the YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. Of course, always more to learn at nicholascrown.com. And I'll see you next week with another awesome video.